for teacher or mother, or mother or teacher. In a world filled with challenges and adversity, a young boy named Jake Curtis finds himself struggling with the weight of despair. Amidst his darkest moments, a caring and compassionate teacher, Miss Thompson, steps into his life. The play unfolds the powerful journey of transformation and resilience. Through heartwarming moments, important lessons, a teacher, a mother, a mother, a teacher, showcases the profound impact of a teacher's love and guidance. Loyola House, take us on your dramatic journey. Chemistry. Yes, sir. I failed even in geography, which 
which is my favorite subject. What have you done? I'm going to break you, bit by bit. Take his academics and lose nothing. He has no friends, no talent, and now he's lost his marks as well. He's a loser, a reject. Nobody cares about him. He's a lost cause, failure. He has ruined his life. I'm not done yet! I still have two chances left! Jim, your friend Max is here. Max? Where are you going with that lad? We don't have holidays yet. Listen, Jake. My dad got not Max So, I'm not allowed to go my dad. Where are you going? Canada. That couldn't have happened overnight. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Our exams were going on, so I didn't want to stress him out. Well, it's nice to meet you, What? You can't go. Now the only friend I've made this whole year. I need someone, Max. I failed my exams. Don't leave me. Don't worry, Jake. You make a difference. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Don't go. What just happened here? First, the bad news of my results. Now my best friend just leaving. I don't get this. Last start of my sleep. I'm Jake, it's still so long. I really don't know what to do. Should we go out for dinner tonight? Should we keep Jake at home? At home? I think, I think we've spent enough time with him now. Maybe we should give him some space. Jake, are you sure that you'll be okay if we go for dinner tonight? It's okay if you don't want us to go. You're more important to us than a dinner. Yes, I'm fine. Really. Are you sure? Yes, Dad. You've already consoled me. It's okay that Max went to Canada. And I'll work harder. I'll talk my class and I'll make you proud. You should go. Don't worry about me. I'm 15. I can take care of myself. If you're so sure then, I guess we'll go. Come on honey, I'm just getting the car. Okay honey, bye Jay. You can sleep on time. Call us if you need anything. Yes mom, bye. Come back soon. It's time for the final blow. Nobody who I can share my feelings with. 
Sheikh, this is unacceptable. You can't give up on life. This isn't the end of the world. Okay, remember when you said that you always wanted to make your parents proud? Could they truly be proud if they saw you like this? You must not give up hope, Jay. Just because they are with you, doesn't mean that they aren't watching. They're up there, looking after you from the stars. If you want to make them proud, then achieve your true potential. I know it sounds impossible, but I'll work with you. Together there is absolutely nothing we can't achieve. But for that, for that, we need you to trust me. Help me, to help you. Just give me a chance. All the times. That's good enough for me. This isn't fair. She was part of the storyline. Well, you should have looked a little further. She was always part of this desk. Good morning, class. Where is Jake? Okay, let's continue. So, good morning, Jake. Why are you late for class? I don't know, sir. Okay, Jake. Since you've come late, let's see if you can answer these questions. What is the percentage of the high sphere on planet Earth? I don't know that, sir. Come on, Jake. You can do it. Give it another shot. All right. Here's another question. The topic of cancer passes through how many states in India? I don't know that either. Look, sir. I don't want to answer any more questions today. I can't. Jake, that's not the way. You cannot not answer, sir. I'm done. I just am. Is that the way you talk to a teacher? I don't know why Mrs. Thompson is wasting her time on a child like you. You're being extremely disrespect disrespectful to your teachers and you're not even doing well in my subject. To make matters worse, we don't even try. In addition to that, you come to class today and look at you. Is that the way you dress the school? This is getting too much. What a disobedient boy! <laughs> I guess the tables are turning now. Just, just, just wait and see. Ah, Mrs. Thompson, you are wasting, I mean wasting your time on that little loaf. That boy, Jake, he dares to disrespect his teachers and goes down as if we are the ones who are fault. I am so angry at him. I tell you, Mrs. Thompson, it's never going to happen. Never! Jake Curtis is never going to change. So please, you need to calm down. We all know that Jake has been through a lot. The least we can do is understand this pain. A little patience can go a long way in that child's life. But please, believe me sir, Jake Curtis will change. I hope you're right, Mrs. Thompson. I for one have given up on you. Did you see what just happened here? Do you want to say something? Good morning, Jake. I heard about what happened in Mr. Johnson's class today. Nothing much. I just didn't know the answers. But that wasn't the right thing to do, Jake. This isn't what we are teaching you here. This isn't what your parents taught you. Remember? Remember when I told you that your parents are always watching over you? Don't you think this will make them sad? Miss, please. Not today. But Jake, it's not just today. It's becoming every day. Not today is not an excuse. You have to keep working on your subject. Enough! I need a break. What? I'm going to go play some basketball. Jake! <laughs> Did you see that? You know that eventually you aren't going to win, right? I still believe. That, that Jake will improve. We'll see. We'll see.
Yes, so I needed to play some more. You look quite exhausted. So I'm fine, I can handle it. Alright then, I'm gonna leave now. And I think you should do. So you go ahead, I'll play some more on my own. Alright. Good job, Jake. Um, 
I, I think that might be another chance. I, I told you at the beginning. Respect of it. Jonathan gave the match. Changed his sentence to Vasilios. The match is played by Jonathan. That's correct. Vivan lost the match. The match was lost by Vivan? That's excellent, Jake. Miss, there's something I've been meaning to tell you for a long time. I'm listening. I'm so truly sorry for how I've been behaving. You're the only one I have left. Everyone else has abandoned me and in return, all I've been is a bad student. You're not my mother. You're more than that. Jake, it's all right. I want you to know that I will always be there for you. Always. You will always have me. But promise me this won't happen again. Yes, miss. I promise. What just happened here? I thought I was winning. Clearly, you were wrong. Thank you so much, sir. Congratulations, Chief. Thank you, Miss. Miss, I have a small gift for you. Chief, what's wrong with you? Couldn't you have gift wrapped it? Don't you have any partners? I really hope you like it. That's a half empty bottle of perfume and a loose bracelet. Are you out of your mind? It's okay, Mr. Smith. It's the sentiment that counts. Thank you, Jake. It's truly lovely. This is my mother's favorite bottle of perfume. She wore it the night she died. And that bracelet is hers as well. She never went anywhere without it. I would like you to have it. You were there when nobody was. You were my hope. And if it wasn't for you, I'd be nothing. After my mom and dad died, you were the only one there for me. In my heart, you have taken her place. Thank you, Ma. Have your fun and yet again, you've been proven wrong. Over the years, you've wreaked havoc on mankind repeatedly, without any mercy. Families destroyed, brothers tortured, children often, innocent skilled. The people only felt pain and suffering. Civilizations fell. But the one thing that you couldn't destroy was their hope. Mankind's greatest strength. Hope. They never let go of it. You can burn them down, but they will rise from the ashes. Man, choose to follow me. I am better than you. I am greater, I am stronger. But not because I saved myself. But because I am humble enough to admit that even I need help. I, I can't be everywhere. And so I created a mother. She can't be everywhere and so I created a teacher. Mother births a child. A teacher nurtures him. And they both build him into a man. You remember that boy in my class? Jake Curtis. No, no, no. Dr. Jake Curtis. 
Dr. J. Curtis, MD. My Jake has become a doctor. He is all grown up now. Do you know what I am right now? At a church. My Jake is getting married today. I am so excited and happy for him. I can't wait to give him this day my blessing. A mother, a teacher, a mother. 